The following opinions are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Boatest.com, and today I'm on the 420 fly from Galleon. I'm going to do a full features inspection on this yacht that is clearly defined by its fit and finish, its versatility, and it's available in both a two or a three cabin layout. We board from the swim platform that has a hydraulic component that comes out four feet. To the starboard side, there's a concealed reboarding ladder, and to the port hand side, there's a set of stairs that automatically deploys as the platform lowers. We enter the cockpit from an entryway to the port hand side. There's an acrylic gate to help keep the area safe. L-shaped seating wraps around the back side of the cockpit, and this is where the versatility of the 420 fly really comes into play. The first thing we can do is slide this seat back, create more room in the cockpit. We can also convert the seat into a sun pad. In addition to adding more space now, we can open up the doors. Then these doors will slide over, open, and then slide to the far end, creating a seamless transition. We can add to the cockpit seating by swinging this seat out, adding a filler cushion, and now we create wraparound seating going all the way from the outside to the inside. And if you choose to leave this seat in the forward position, we can flip the seat back ahead so that now we can join the crowd in the cockpit. At the bow, there are two sun pads. Both of them are convertible into a chaise lounge. The flying bridge is accessed from a set of stairs to the port hand side of the cockpit. Let's take a look. Well, certainly plenty of entertaining to do here. This starts with J-shaped seating wrapping around the stern, pedestal table in the center, certainly comfortable. We've got great visibility, safety rail. Moving ahead to the port hand side, there's an electric grill. To the starboard side, there's a sink underneath, storage, and a refrigerator. Just ahead, there's a double wide bench seat to the port side, a sun pad ahead, all which lets us be in close proximity to the operator and observer. And all of this is under the protection of this bimini top with oversized hardware. As we come inside, plenty of headroom. The ceiling is Alcantara suede and beautiful highlights, fit and finish that we've come to appreciate from the brand. This seat is reversible, which will now give us more space behind the table, U-shaped seating as a matter of fact, and the table is expandable. Notice the nice inlay work on the table and flush hinges. And we can drop the table, add a filler cushion, and create another berth. It's worth noting that we have good visibility out both side windows, thanks to the fact that they come down nice and low, giving us good sight lines to the horizon from the seated positions. Directly across, we have opposing seating, so not only do we have a comfortable conversational atmosphere right here in the salon, these seats will also come out and slide across, so now we can have more people dining at the table. Just behind the seat is a TV on an electric lift. Now, Galleon is well known for its fit and finish, and here's a fine example. Small little leather inlay piece, which makes it just a little bit more comfortable while we're sitting and having our conversations. Empty shelf would have been useless space, but all it took was adding a little piece of stainless raised edge, and now it becomes a useful space. Moving forward to the galley, down to the lower deck, plenty of storage underneath. There's a convection oven, double burner electric stove, a double basin stainless steel sink, and I'm happy to see that there's a place to store the cover. There's a hull side window plus an opening port light just ahead, refrigerator and freezer, storage up above, and in an example of how Galleon doesn't waste any usable space, take a look at this. At the stair treads, pull out drawers, and notice, they're self-close. Here's a good time to point out the beautiful walnut and maple decking and how it complements the darker walnut and Corian counter. On our hot floor today, I also appreciate the drop-down windows to port and starboard. Now there's also an option for having the galley on the main deck, which will give us an option for putting three staterooms on this yacht, one of them underneath the galley. This version that we're testing, however, has two staterooms. Let's take a look, starting with the master fully forward. Fully forward is the master stateroom with plenty of natural light coming in through hull side windows and this overhead skylight that measures seven feet long. Gives us overhead clearance of three feet eight inches and drops down to three feet at the head of the berth. Plenty of headroom as we come in, six feet eight inches. 
Over the head of the berth, there are sconces with integrated reading lights. The berth itself measures six feet and nine inches in length. Plenty of storage all around, including underneath the berth. To the port hand side, there's a vanity conveniently located to the berth, so all we have to do is sit on the berth to use it. Throughout the stateroom, we see more of the quality fit and finish that defines the brand. Solid wood doors with multiple finishes, matching grains, and stainless hardware. To the port side of the entry is the ensuite head. It includes a walk-in shower, an electric flush toilet, there's a sink recessed into a solid surface counter, storage is just behind, there's a hull side window with an opening port light, a mirror is both above the windows and inside the door, and notice how the mirror in the door is flush mounted. More of the fit and finish that the brand is so well known for continues here with two tones of walnut, stainless steel door handles, and Alcantara suede. Now just behind is the guest staterooms. This has plenty of headroom, six feet three inches as we enter, but there's a variable geometry once we get inside. The berth, two single berths that can be combined with a filler cushion into one large berth. There's plenty of storage, including a hanging locker at the front by the door. Now just outside is a day head. This is a wet head, has the hull side windows with an opening port light, Corian counters with a vessel sink and storage just behind, electric flush toilet, and more of the walnut woodwork that we've come to see. Well, we've clearly got a fit and finish that has come to define the brand, plus a quality of build that Galleon is so well known for, all coming together in the 420 Fly from Galleon. And that is my full features inspection for Boatest.com. I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.